Hey YouTube, um, this video I must apologize for because I'm in this homeless shelter and the only place that I can get privacy is here in the bathroom. So I'm sorry that uh, I'm actually here filming this, but it's really the only place that I can talk to you uh, undisturbed and this is a rather sensitive subject. Um, if you've been following my blog, The All-Star Activist, you may know that I got into some misdemeanor trouble. Um, a while back, around the anniversary of my mom's death, first year anniversary. And basically what it was, I fell off the wagon and caught a couple of DUIs. Um, no one got hurt. I smashed my car and somebody else's car, which I had insurance at the time, so I paid for it. But I got two uh, DUI cases um, back to back pretty much. And so I've been placed on an ankle monitor. Um, and I've been on that since, I don't know, probably six months, seven months, without incident. Uh, prior to the DUIs, I had 18 years of sobriety, clean and sober, strictly. And since the DUIs, it's been the same. But near the holidays and the anniversary of my mom's death, she died February 20, February 17th of uh, 2017. Um, it got rough for me. And so that was the first holidays that I spent without her and I fell off the wagon. I'm not excusing my behavior, but that's just what happened. Anyway, I'm going through uh, the SCRAM program at the San Francisco Sheriff's Department. Um, and they placed the ankle bracelet on me because I got my DUIs in San Francisco. So um, court proceedings are going through. Um, and I haven't violated any of the... Uh, rules or conditions for scram ankle bracelet. I haven't drank, I haven't imbibed any illegal drugs, but they've called me in a couple of times saying that their device said that I possibly did drink, uh, which the ankle monitor monitors for. And I told them their readings are false. Uh, I haven't done any of that. But now I'm, I've just gotten a call from the supervisor, Shirley, my case manager, Shirley, uh, Mendoza, I believe, that uh, my ankle monitor is going off again. Now, I have not drank any alcohol. I'm not even interested in it. I'm not doing any drugs or anything. I'm strictly clean and sober. The only drug I do is caffeine, and that's rare. But I think this is an attempt to actually um, get me locked up because there's a court proceeding coming up, which um, on the 13th of November, which is Monday, a couple of days from now, that is a writ. And I don't know if it's a writ of habeas corpus or what, but I went to the public defender's office and I got a printout yesterday, uh, the 9th of, well, I think it was the 9th. Anyway, I got a printout yesterday, Thursday, November 8th, I believe, or 9th. Anyway, I got a printout from the public defender's office that showed this court date coming up November 13th. All my court dates that I've been to, I haven't had to appear because I've been in compliance with SCRAM. But I have no faith in the SCRAM system. I think they rig it. I think they game it, depending upon what they want to do to you or with you. And they can cook the numbers to say anything they want, basically, because they basically hook up a computer to your ankle bracelet. And then the computer prints out the numbers. And it's in a graph form. And the last one that she showed me about a week ago, Shirley, my case manager, said that I had bad numbers. It was in red, like I had done something. I hadn't imbibed alcohol or anything. Um, so they're rigging it. But Alex Jones has said that now they're sending out the death squads and the kill teams to uh, from the Democratic Party to, you know, get rid of uh, Republican significant figures and... I'm thinking that uh, they want me in jail either because they're going to sentence me to a longer sentence and they don't want the possibility of me running or that they want to kill me in jail in some sort of jailhouse incident. Um, so I'm making this video. Hopefully you're not watching it posthumously in case that happens. But basically, I have not done anything. I've been in compliance with the program. And if I do go to jail, that's an excellent place to get rid of me um, while I'm in there. So that's coming up. Uh, today is Friday, November 10th, I believe. 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th. Yeah, today's November 10th. And I have to go in tomorrow on a Saturday 
because surely the case manager called me today um, at about 2 p.m. and it's 5 p.m. You can obviously see right now that <laughs> I'm completely sober, although a little bit scruffy and ragged, um, saying that this thing had gone off. Well, it's false reading, which has happened before. I think they just use it to, you know, keep a leash on you and control you and they make it say whatever they want it to say because who's going to control them? Who's going to audit them? They're the Sheriff's Department of San Francisco County. So um, anyway, I'm making this video in case I don't make it back, in case they do arrest me on these uh, false readings and put me in jail and then kill me. So anyone looking at this video will at least know that that happened or what's happening to me at this point. And with Alex Jones saying that, you know, the Democratic Party is really stirred up because of the elections and then uh, getting rid of uh, Jeff Sessions, I believe, out of uh, the attorney general's office. Um, yeah, they could be making a push. I'm here in California, Berkeley, San Francisco, the heart of the Democrats. And I have conservative values, always have. Not that I'm Republican. It's just I believe in democracy. Well, I believe in the Republic and I believe in the Constitution. And those are the things that I primarily wrote about on my blog and made videos about. So anyway, this is just, uh, you know, hopefully not a farewell message to you, but I would say stay strong, keep going for it, because eventually in the end, judgment day is coming and everyone's going to be held accountable for what they did. Did you stand up or did you buckle under and side with the devil? Uh, these people that are doing these things are not going to like what's uh, put out before them on that day. They're going to realize that they are gone to eternal damnation, and that's it. And it's all their fault. So anyway, uh, stay strong and, and keep uh, fighting for right and fighting for justice. You may get weak at times, and you're only human. You know, it happens. But uh, hang in there, and eventually, I think things will turn around for us. This is Eldon Brown signing off, the all-star activist.